Today, I'm gonna to give you guys a reaction to a reaction video because if OnlyFans is your only plan, then you're just playing in the sand and you need a good man. But check out what this scallywag had to say. I don't know why you're so set on going to college. Like, just don't, you know, be an entrepreneur like me and be successful that way. Entrepreneur? <laughs> you only that's not being an entrepreneur. Yes, it is. It's a business. You sell pictures of yourself online. That's not being an entrepreneur. Okay, well, if you think I'm not an entrepreneur, let's go band for band. Band for band? Let's go band for band. I'll buy, I, I'm gonna buy, I bought dad a fucking car. I'm about to pay off mom's fucking mortgage. I'll pay for your fucking college. You don't think that's a entrepreneur? Then I don't know what the fuck is. I was just using your money. That I make through the business of OnlyFans. Yeah, but that's the business not being an entrepreneur. Whatever, I'm not going to argue with the 10-year-old. Got him! She ain't have nothing to say. Age is just a number. And clearly, common sense is not so common because she just got schooled by a 10-year-old. And she's too ignorant to see the value in what he had to say. By definition, she's actually correct. An entrepreneur is someone that sets up a business or businesses taking off financial risk in hope of profit. But her little brother was actually making a valid point. The message that he was trying to relay is that her approach to OnlyFans isn't sustainable long term because her appearance is the product and over time it will deteriorate or the site can become irrelevant. Based on her response, it seemed as though she isn't investing any of her profit. The only thing that she said that would be an investment is paying for her little brother's college tuition, but she didn't even see the value in that. This is actually an interesting topic for me to speak on because just a few years ago, I thought just like her. I had a business that was generating six figures in revenue and I thought that college was useless. But ever since I moved to Jamaica and I realized the level of incompetence that is out there, it gave me a newfound appreciation for schooling. I wholeheartedly believe that formal education will make you a living and self-education will make you a fortune, but no education will make you a pesticide to society. So some education is better than no education. The problem is that people are under the impression that school is supposed to create millionaires, but that's not why school was created. The purpose of school is to create employees to work for the audacious few who are willing to step out on faith and create opportunities for the people that are looking for a safe route. When things are working out in your favor, people can be blinded by their situation and they won't know until they know. Majority of businesses fail. So just because she's making a lot of money now doesn't mean that it's going to continue to happen for the next 30 to 40 years. And if she does not invest her money during that time period, then she will not be ready for the rainy day once it comes. But check out this reaction from another creator. Yeah, see, hold on. Here's the problem with this whole thing. I got so many problems with this video. First of all, why the f are her legs open while she's talking to her brother like this and i saw some videos he kind of eggs on this shit, so you better stop it here's my thing this is how some of you clowns sound on here when you are like i'm an entrepreneur and a ceo of an online business because you make x amount of money a year that's not it that is not it that is not an entrepreneur like he said that is the business that you are hustling with a lot of you guys are hustlers i'm not knocking that you're a hustler but an entrepreneur is two things i think one it's like an identity that you take on there are so many characteristics of very successful entrepreneurs and ceos that you know just whipping open your legs for is <laughs> you know what i mean that's just taking advantage of dumb dudes Here's the thing, and many people that are entrepreneurs, their goal is to build a sustainable business that can run year after year after year after year without them showing up and provide thousands of jobs. They're talking about going into industries like huge industries, not something that once you stop you know, looking pretty, you kind of grow old, you expire, it doesn't even matter. So I'm telling you guys, if you come on here and you keep telling these kids, don't do that, just be a content creator and you know, be an entrepreneur like me, you're diluting the word entrepreneur. Just say, be a hustler like me. It's like the same thing being in the streets. Like the video I made about the last girl who got jumped in as a crip. And I'm like, girl, you can find way better ways to hustle and make money online. That is not it. Just be a hustler, build an online business, promote a digital product, be your little mini CEO. And then once you scale it and provide jobs over 10, then you're an entrepreneur. That's it.
This response had some valid points, but the issue is their interpretation of the word entrepreneur. They're responding to the conversation based on what they think the word means rather than what it actually means. But in the grand scheme of things, the moral of the story is that certain business models are not sustainable long term. And privileged people like herself really need to get out there and experience the world so that she can see the lifestyle that people live as a result of not obtaining adequate education. But don't get me wrong. Yes, it is possible. There are countless amount of testimonials of individuals that have become self-made millionaires and they dropped out of college. But there's also a ton of stories about individuals who wish they had furthered their education so that they could have lived a better life. And it's about that time. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so that you're notified every time I make a new post. Until next time.